I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. So I think we need to go back to the scripture. So we flip yeah. the coin and we go to the other side and we say, and we say that if we look at uh, Kamala's uh, Kamala record that she incarcerated more black folk than you can shake a stick at. And we look at Biden's record, then we'll say that he and the senators there also voted for legislation that ended up with mass incarceration and extended sentences for minority members, right? True. How do we look at those aside from and I, when I say judgment? But in reference to the kingdom, what's the response of the church? I guess that's the background. What's the response of the church is? What's the background? And you know, and you know what? She, she likes to say it's it's um it's like the punctuation comma. So it's Kamala. And that's what she said. That's not yeah. what I'm saying. That's how it's yeah. pronounced, Kamala. Yeah. So, so I would say that her motive may have been, and that's why I look at her the same way. I, I judge with the same, with the same measure. I mean, to be measured under me again. I use the same yardstick on both sides. Her motive may have been to correct a wrong. Sometimes when you run off to the road, your correction is so egregious that it causes you to kill yourself because you overcorrected because you mm -hmm. felt like you had to, and so she may have been and i think her perspective was though it was wrong and though it caused mass suffering for a particular group of people i think she was uh, i mean my heart i believe her attempt was to correct something or bring something back into alignment because something had run off the road and she was trying to get it back on the road but she overcorrected and so i give her the benefit of the doubt just like i give anybody else i think that's just how it was was it right in my opinion i'm gonna judge no but I understand her perspective and maybe why she did what she did. And, and let me well, get it's like you said also, Jimmy, hindsight is 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 a great thing. You know, you you can you can look back and, and say a whole lot of things would have been better if if this or if that. So even when uh you look back at, at Biden when he supported the agenda for mass incarceration. I mean, you 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 look back and what was going on in society was the, the crack epidemic and everything. And you had people of color, like arrest these fools, do something because I can't live right in these streets. And so we as a people were on that agenda as well until it just got out of hand. So yeah. I agree with you that some decisions were made were to correct the thing, but then were abused. So uh no different than my Miles Monroe said, if you don't know the purpose of a thing, you will abru abuse yeah. a thing. Yeah. Abuse is inevitable. That is correct. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and, and you know the thing about things can can have people trying to vote them to be right, but it's just it's just a wrong uh, solution. But you know, I would give thought want to let you guys know a good example of deception was and the fact is that, that doesn't determine where that person is living salvation is David himself when he saw Bathsheba on the rooftop and he brought that woman over, right? And he got yeah. her pregnant, right? And then he brought <laughs> Uriah back, right? Now, and then he took Uriah and took him and put him on the line and he died. Was that a, was that a means of, what kind of fruit was that? And that was deception, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that was a whole lot of stuff. That was that was selfish. C4. C4. Is that you, Breathe the Heavy Man? C4. Huh? Yeah, I've seen him before. Yeah. I, I, I hope that brother walking or exercising or something. That's all I'm praying. He walking. Yeah, I'm, I am. I am. <laughs> Woo! Oh, come on, Jimmy. <laughs> No, because I thought I had it on mute because it's in my pocket, so I might have bumped yeah, it off. Yeah, probably. That's probably what happened. Because I muted it before. Right? You had me scared hey. then, brother. You had oh, me scared. Bro, hey, hey, I'm on the uphill right now. I'm and on I know field, that's bro. right. He's Pump it me. out. Pump it out. <laughs> All right. Let me turn the, turn the mic back off. But, Pastor, you know, back to what you were saying, though, but his, I think his motives were clearly shown from the beginning. His action obviously supported 
but we know what his motives were. I mean, you looking over there and she naked, and then you calling her over. Let me tell you something, you ain't trying to get her saved. You right. ain't trying to doggone work on her spirituality. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I don't care how you fra- how you frame that. Yeah. You, you knew exactly your whole yeah. idea about that was for one thing and one thing only. But you know, even, if, even if he gave some scriptures, it still that wasn't the purpose for it. I'm something. sure he did. I'm sure he did. <laughs> yeah, you know, but the part, the part I'm saying is he tried to see cover that up. That's what deception is, right? To cover up a wrongdoing. Uh, and that, that yeah. who has to work. Yeah, but at the same time, that does not exclude him as final judgment of going to hell, right? Technically, the church, they, yeah. church though, they will put him in hell. Well, <laughs> you know, I I, I would uh, <clears throat> I guess in my mind now because I don't fully know. Yeah. <laughs> but what I do know, if if <clears throat> when 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 I open my eyes in glory, <laughs> when, I, when I'm there, and if by <laughs> the grace of God Trump is there. I, I when when I, I thought about this for a second just a minute ago, I'd be like, boy, you was doing some things down there when you was in that place. You, you know, I let you know I want to bring Lord up, to God, I'm glad to see you here. <laughs> you know, you know, what I do want to bring up though again is there's a point where David said no more. That's what I'm trying to say. There was a if if you took Dave, if you took David at that snapshot in time, you'll say, I'm not gonna see him on high. But if you notice, David evolved. David was punished. David was chastised, and so on the line. He said, he, "The scripture said he sinned no more." Is that right? Is that what the scripture said? I, I don't know about that one because I, I really don't think anybody going at some point never again from that yeah. point forward. So that would have me. I'd be a little leery that statement. Well, I mean, you know, uh, you're probably too old, Jim. <laughs> To, to, for somebody on the outside to actually take a snapshot of that, you know, you would have to have known the mindset of David uh-huh. and the whole situation and circumstance. And I don't think too many people actually were were, were privy to that. Right. So, uh, so <laughs> not too many people would have had that that snapshot. Right. So, uh, but what? one did. One did. <laughs> One did. Right. Well, don't forget, and don't forget, uh, don't forget his general knew that, right? His general knew something when he told him put him up to the front line, that he knew that, that was that wasn't right. He didn't he probably didn't know the whole you know, he probably didn't know that he was trying to, to have him kill so he can be lay with his, his wife. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh there was a prophet that came in that knew it all. He knew the whole thing. He, he, Nathan. Nathan did it. Nathan gave the little power. He knew it all. Man, he whole came in and, and, and laid it out. And that dude. And check this out. And check this out. And you know how he knew? It wasn't by observation. No, you know how he knew? God showed it to him. God showed it. It wasn't God showed right. it to him. He did you see the difference? Witness it. It was. It was spiritually discerned it wasn't and, something he judged up he yeah. saw and he put in a particular god god showed him this Woo, man and then the way that he exposed it to him oh man. my goodness yeah man and that dude just like oh he should be put to death oh yes <laughs> he should pay sevenfold yeah he yeah. should <laughs> in other words david did the judge david did the judge of the story right yeah the parable he, he judged did. himself yeah he did he didn't even know it right and that's, Man, that's something there. And David also had another good example I want to use for his government. We talk about government and leadership. Remember when David tried to count the number of people in Israel? Mm-hmm. And, and God was displeased with that, very upset about that, right? And, and, and that's another example where you may have good motive, good intention, but it's not necessarily lines up with God. So Back with that, with that in mind, let's try again. The uh, the scripture was talking about. Let's see if I can get it back. If this what this is this what we was talking about last uh, on Thursday, I wanted to get the guy's perspective on it. There you go, fat ass. Get this out of the way. 
Yeah, so you want me to read this again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Second Thessalonians, second chapter, first verse. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. Well. That ye be not soon shaken in mind. Uh -huh. Or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letters as from us. Uh -huh. As that day, or as that the day of Christ is at hand. Yes. Let no man deceive you by any means. You heard that? That day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that's it. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, yeah. or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Wow. Remember ye not, that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? Yeah. And know ye now, and, and now ye know what withhold us that he might be revealed in his time. Mm. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Yes. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Right. And the next one, go ahead. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan will all power and signs and lying wonder, and with all deceitful deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish yeah. because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved mm. and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie mm. that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in the unrighteousness and that, that's a concern I have is in making sure we don't be deceived and brother, as I think there was one more after that, I think. Okay. Get from it. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through Come sanctification on. of the Spirit yes, sir. and belief of the truth. Come on. Whereunto He called you by our gospel. Yes. To the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Therefore, brethren, stand fast. Come on. And hold the traditions which ye have been taught. Come on. By word. Come on. Or our epistle. Uh huh. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us uh -huh. and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, uh -huh. comforts your heart. Well. And, and established you in every good work, every good word and work. Come on, bro. Yeah, I like that because he was kind of saying if he was given the end time, he was given the, he was talking about the falling away. He was talking about us remember that the deception going on and be not deceived. Then he encouraged. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was talking about, he was talking to people who, who love, didn't love the truth. And he sent a strong delusion on them so they'll believe a lie. But the same you know, thing. The, the, the same thing that that the seed of people yeah uplifted a people <laughs> same way right you know through word and through uh epistle well come on now <laughs> and through uh what, what was the third one what what's your uh word epistle yeah okay let me see one second I, 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 let me see if i can break it up you talking about that last slide, right? Stand firm. I think it was just word and pistol, I think. I'm not sure. I saw a pistol. Uh, uh it's right here, verse 15, you was talking about. Yeah. Who yeah, whether by by word or pistol. Yeah. So you may you made a piece right there, like I said, 15, like I said, therefore, brother, stand fast. Yeah. And hold the traditions which you have been taught. Mm -hmm. Whether by, like, now I like what you're saying is, how do we do that? By words in our epistle, our letters, right? Yeah. yeah. In other words, we're supposed to continue to preach that gospel, 
Don't be shaking this. Don't be shaking the spirit or mind, because it does shake you, don't it? <laughs> when you look at what goes on. Oh yeah, it, it it you can't help when it affects your flesh Woo. and your senses. <laughs> you can't help but recognize. You can't. You know, because the flesh is going to pay attention, especially Woo. when there's a discomfort. Especially when that's your focus. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know yeah. what? Paul talked about a mystery. Christ in you, the hope of glory. He talked about a mystery that had been revealed unto him that wasn't revealed to anybody mm -hmm. else. He talked about this mystery. Now I want to ask you all a question, and I'm serious about this one. From a biblical perspective, in verse 7, it talks about for the mystery of yes. iniquity. Yes, sir. Does already work. Yes, sir. I would ask scripturally explanation, what is this mystery of iniquity? What is the mystery of iniquity? And I don't know the answer. I'm asking just to put it out there. So it may be something that we need to think about and try to try to research and, and try to understand. Because I think if it mentioned it being a mystery, just like the mystery of the church is a mystery, then what is the mystery of iniquity? I'd like to know. Hey, uh, that ain't that, that wouldn't be no mystery. That's 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 clearly spoken of. I mean, that's kind of like obvious. Okay. I think we haven't hit the fruition of it though. We keep seeing these these shadows. Uh, we keep seeing these uh, foreshadowings. I guess the types that rise up, but eventually that uh, that's going to be played out. And I think when it talks about the revelation of this uh, this antichrist, it's going to be the culmination of that because we've seen uh, antichrist types over the over the years but yeah. we never see the actual character yet but we are seeing even now that he is able to emerge because of the things that we witnessed already right. how evil men can rise and and have a problem that goes beyond the man. so i think that that mystery is being revealed that is the mystery that's going to, i believe now that's the johnson of course i mean yeah we, we but we, let, we gotta remember the fact is that First of all, the Antichrist himself has not been revealed until a certain point in time. Yeah. So, so, so therefore, there's a covering of the revealing of the Son of Prediction right now. I mean, that's he's not going to be revealed until the appropriate time. And we need to know yeah. that. And, and I don't know how you're going to catch him yourself until he's been revealed. I don't know. The, Jimmy think he's going to be revealed because of the God will reveal him. Or the well, my question, my question is, I, I see how the conversation has gone. It's gone toward the Antichrist, but is the Antichrist and its ways, and the Bible talks about there's always an Antichrist, but is that the mystery of iniquity? Is my question back to mystery of iniquity. I mean, so we're, we're relegating to the point we're saying that the Antichrist ways and the Antichrist is the mystery of iniquity? Is that what we're saying? I think so, because it's a working of him coming, but... The part about him being not being revealed even now is 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 meaning there's a subtle things going on. That's how he operates in it, right? He came in the garden subtly, right? And he's gonna do that, and we won't know him. <clears throat> we can't pinpoint him until he's revealed. And we won't even know it if the church won't be here. And that's one of the things Bishop and I was talking about where the church gonna be here when he didn't let us take is taken away we're talking about who's going to be taken away did y'all did you see that one uh bishop uh let me see where it's at i think it's the uh yeah you know jimmy yeah, it's, um, it's basically we're talking about when he allows the the son of perdition to actually manifest right right then, now you can't pick him out so uh Jimmy, that's a good question. Um, and it deserves an answer. Well, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know why Bishop's sitting there with his hand over his mouth and not answering. No, well, but let me let me chime in. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we can. If we look at the scriptures, if we read verse if we were right, if we read verse seven what? and eight together, and I'm gonna read it. It said, you know, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. So in ourselves, if we don't notice it already, we're going to, obviously we're going to have that question. Then it says here, only he who now let it will let. 
so if we if we ourselves don't know who the he is again we're unbeknownst until he be taken out of the way and then verse 8 says and then shall that wicked be revealed yeah whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his of his coming so you know it's 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 a mystery on purpose I think so. um we're not to know right because it's up to god yeah and it's just like um when you know why didn't jesus christ come on the earth any sooner come on right and because it was up to god right uh, it's, it's god's time and when yeah it's a good question yeah. but i don't think it's for us to know the answer specifically right now we just need to know a little that box. We, we have some insight to it and to press forward because right. yeah, george longer dropped it off uh, right. back 20. Uh, uh, hey russ it's russ i'm gonna mm -hmm. mute him i think don't mute I'm mute russ just tell him to hush <laughs> Hey, hey, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and one, of the, one of the things also been it's interesting is that the guy is really trying to get back to look at this part right here where it said verse four, Brother Jackson. Read that for us for a second, too. Well, I got my Bible open. It says here, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. Yes. So, Anything that is called God, he's going to oppose it and exalt his own self. Yeah. Okay? Or that which is worship. So that he, as God, which is, you're talking about some arrogance. <laughs> he, as God, sitteth in the temple of yeah. God. In the temple. Yes. Okay, showing himself that he is God. So that's going to say a lot right there. Hey, 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 Brad Jackson. Okay, so when we, we know now. Is there a specific temple, or is this a position that he's talking about? Well, let, let, let's throw something at you first. But this is brought up last uh, Thursday we were talking about. Well, let me, let, me, let me throw something out right quick since he asked that question. Hey, Brother Addison, the temple uh, is, is, is us, right? Yeah. Our, our body. Yes. Think about this as a person that tries to, it don't even have to be brick and mortar. But a person who tries to to say to, to to us, right, that they in fact live in us, yeah, re trying to replace God, the Spirit of God Himself. So you asked a really good question. You know the thing, Bishop Brown said real good though. Thursday, I want y'all to know is we're talking not only Christianity. We're mm -hmm. talking about the people with Buddha, Buddhists. We're talking about people of Islam. We talking about other all the religions. This guy is gonna man. I'm talking about he's talking about a, a mystery here. He's gonna try to exalt everything, every religion that 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 has a concept of God and exalt himself above that. And and the question is, when you think about the world as it is now, and all these different types of faith, you got the major faith and then you got the minor ones. This guy's gonna be successful. And exalting himself above everything that we have called or concerned ourselves as God. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get to the point where he's going to be like God. You see what I'm saying? That scripture is saying is, he said, I'm going to be just like in Isaiah. I'll be like the most high. Mm -hmm. This is where he's wow. trying to work. So how can you get all of the front eyes of the question? How do you get all those different types of uh, wow. beliefs? And, and he can say, I'm going to exalt myself above all of them. And they're going to all and oh. wonders. Huh? Order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. Order Ooh. out of chaos. New world order. Yeah. Those are our signs. You know, yeah. it's got to be something visual, something something to, to appeal to the to the five senses, yeah. not the spirit. Right. Right. And, 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 the, and the scripture is saying is that when you looked at the, what, eight, I think, Brother Jackson was talking about, this guy's going to reveal and people going to love a lot more than the truth, isn't it? Let me see, what is it? The next slide, right? They're going to, they're going to, it says here, verse nine, Brother Jackson, what's that? What's, what you got there? Verse even nine. him, even him who coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And what's this all power we talking about? What kind of power? 
Because God, Jesus said, when he left, he said, all power has been given unto me. Mm -hmm. What power are we talking about? The power of Satan. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, and Satan only has to manipulate the world's power, right? He's he going to have all well, he, power, right? He's, he's the God of this world. Don't, don't, uh -huh. So let's not forget that. And that's a powerful position. Uh -huh. He's the G-O-D of this world. Yeah. Through the media and through everything else. So he does have the power that we've given him over us <clears throat> only. Exactly. And look at verse 10, Brother Jackson. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Mm, Eleven. And for this cause, yeah. God shall send them strong delusion that Ooh. they should believe a lie. God, God. God. You know, I'm sitting up here thinking about this, and, and I can only imagine someone coming around as Christ did. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And 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 taking a position no different than what Christ has done. But I mean world stage though this time though, right? Yeah. Yeah. But but it, it, and and that's and I'm like, wow, how how could somebody do that? Because you asked you 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 stated that you're talking about all religion. All religion. But lying and, but but lying wonders. Yeah. So in my mind, someone's going to have to present themselves and and which goes right back to it as as Christ, but the anti-Christ. And if it's an anti-Christ, it's gotta be like Christ, but in a negative way. Right. And, and so they got to have these types of signs and wonders to get people to replace what's in their hearts. Yes. With this particular person. Yeah. I and believe. Man, that's a scary, scary thought. Well, you know what? I, I think that it's been well documented for, for hundreds of years. Yeah. And I and I believe this in my heart. And listen when I say this. They already have the cure before they produce the problem. I think yeah. That, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. COVID and that's how it's going to be lying yeah. wonders, because right. yeah. they made you believe it was something when it never was anything. Uh -huh. But then they miraculously came up with the cure. Come and on. of course, anybody that's a savior, Come they on. save the world Come from on. peril. Yeah, can be worshipped and can set yeah. himself up to be that. I believe yeah. that it's a conspiracy. I think, I think and I do believe before they create, before they pronounce the disease, they already had the cure because I believe they created the disease. Or other, otherwise, it never was a disease in the first place, other than in the minds of people. Yeah, Holland, like this, this, this uh, COVID nineteen is a good yeah. example of that. Yeah, but I will say this. It's going to mirror the body of Christ in such a way that, I mean, it's, it's deception, but we are to go about sharing the word of God. That's, that's it, that's it. Christ confirming his word with signs following. Right. And those are going to be the difference Yes. Because we're not going to glorify ourselves. Don't work, don't do that. That's not right. Right. And and that 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 will be the difference. This this individual will be self-motivated and uplifting self. Right. You know the concern I